All right, good morning everybody. Today we are still at the topic of time and today we are going to look into duration of one hour and half an hour. All right, the word half an hour tells you that it's actually half of something, okay? Half of a whole, all right? So if you have, um, you know, half an hour, that means it's exactly um, half of the time, okay? So, uh, the clock will be divided into half parts okay so let's take a look at this now mary starts her piano at 4 p.m it lasts for one hour one hour means from four it goes all the way all right the time will move all the way till five so one hour later so you just write down here one hour so one hour later it will be 5 p.m okay Right, let's take a look at the next part. Sarah takes one hour to travel. So here is again one hour. Alright, so one hour later, she leaves for work at 7.30 a.m. So 7.30, one hour later, so hour. So from 7, one whole hour, it becomes 8. But because it's just one hour, so the 30 minutes remains the same. So it's A M still. Okay? So from 7.30 a.m., one hour later, it will be 8.30 a.m. Is everybody okay? Right, next. The Teacher's Day concert lasts one hour. It ends at 3.15 p.m. Now, this is B4. This is one hour B4, not one hour later. Because the end time is given, the start time is not given. Alright, so when you are doing duration, you must have the start time and the end time. So, in this case, they give you the other way. They give you the end time that's 3.15. So, one hour B4. So, one hour B4, 3 will be 2. Alright, and the 15 remains the same. Alright, so we start. But, you should also include the PM. So, it's 2.15 PM. Start time, end time is 3.15 PM. Is everybody okay? Alright, let's move on to the next part. Okay, so here we have Mina spends one hour having her lunch she finishes her lunch at 12 45 pm now again this one here they want to know the start time so start time the end time is given at 12 45 one hour before 12 is 11 and 45 rem minutes remains the same and here 11 p.m. Now 11 p. Sorry, 12:45 p.m. So if it's lunch time, that means it's in the afternoon. So at 11:45, it is still a.m. Is everybody okay? Okay. Right? Because if you put 11:45 p.m., then it will already be at night. Okay. Right next, Darren art lesson is one hour. Now it starts at nine. 15 a.m. So one hour later, so from 9 it becomes 10 15 a.m. Is everybody okay there? Right? So next. Now it takes one hour to bake a cake. So again, one hour. Karen finishes baking the cake. The word is finishes. So and baking is 2.40 p.m. Okay, so this is B4. Start time. The end time is 2.40. So the start time will be 1.40 p.m. Okay, as you can see, if it's hour, right, the minute remains the same. Alright, it doesn't change, alright. It's only the hour that's changed. So if they want... The start, so you count it as V4, and if they want the end, then it will be the after. Okay? Right, let's move on. 
Now, the next part of it, it's half an hour. Okay, half an hour means 30 minutes. Okay, so half an hour is 30 minutes. Okay, so in this case, Shanti, Shanti's PE lesson is half an hour and that's 30 minutes. It starts at 8. So half an hour, that means it will move to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Stop there. 30 minutes. So, so at what time it will it end? 8.30 a.m. Okay. Alright, let's try the next one. The TV shows is 30 minutes long. 30 minutes. It starts at 10.30 p.m. So 30 minutes will be 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So your time now will be 11 p.m. 30 minutes after 10, 30. Alright, so that this is later. 30 minutes later, it will be 11 p.m. Okay, next. Ben tidies his room for 30 minutes half an hour he finishes tidying his room at 9 30 so this is b4 okay so if it's 9 30 b4 that means you have to come backwards 5 10 15 20 25 30 so it's 9 a.m is everybody okay there all right next Lisa's job lasts half an hour That's 30 minutes She ends her job at 7am So she ends her job at 7 At what time did she start? So that's B4 Alright, so B4 means if it's at 7 You have to count backwards, okay? From here, you have to count backwards because now it's 7, right? So it will be 30 minutes before that is 6 30 a.m. Right, next. Dave starts reading his book at 3.30 p.m. Starts at 3.30 p.m. He takes 30 minutes or half an hour to finish reading his book okay so here 30 minutes later 5 10 15 20 25 30 and that's 4 o'clock and that's 4 p.m okay next the magic show at the fair lasts 30 minutes that's half an hour or 30 minutes it ends so ends means the end time 10 30 p.m. so at what time does it start so it's counting backwards actually so that's 10 p.m. okay everybody right next okay practice 10 uh, they give you the time and they ask you to find the duration Okay, example, Danny plays badminton from 5.30, so I write here 5.30 p.m. Alright, and ends at 6.30 p.m. So from 5.30 to 6.30 and that's one hour later. So how long? It's one hour, okay, that Danny plays badminton. That's duration, okay? Duration means how long you spend to do uh, your activity. Okay, next. The animal show is from 11 a.m. So that's 11 a.m. Okay, to 12 noon. Now, 12 noon means 12 p.m. Okay, again from 11 to 12. How long is the duration? One hour. Okay, so here will be one hour. Is everybody okay? Right, next. 
Cindy bakes cookie from 2.30 to 3. So here is 2.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. How long is that duration? Again, it's from 2.30 to 3 p.m. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And that's 30 minutes. And 30 minutes is half an hour then you can just put bracket as 30 minutes half an hour is everybody okay all right let's move on to the next part tommy plays at the playground from 3 p.m so 3 p.m to 3 30 p.m Alright, as you can see from 3 to 3.30 is 30 minutes or Tommy plays for half an hour and bracket 30 minutes. Okay, right next. Ahmad goes grocery shopping from 9.45 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. Right, so here, 9.45, so count in 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and back to here, 60. 60 minutes is actually 1 hour, so from 9 to 10. 9 to 10 is 1 hour 30 minutes th uh, sorry the minutes remains the same so here is 1 hour Ahmad goes grocery shopping for 1 hour okay from 9.45 to 10.45 okay next Jeremy cycles at the park from 8.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that's 30 minutes. So Jeremy cycles for half an hour and that's 30 minutes. Is everybody okay there? Right, fantastic. Okay. So I see you in a bit, okay, with the next part of the lesson. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, everybody. Now we are still doing on the topic of time and we are going to continue with practice 11. Now, practice 11 is uh, doing a duration of one hour and half an hour. So you have here a television program schedule. All right, as you can see, Channel Z has at 6 a.m. The Adventures. At 7 a.m. there will be the news. 7.30 a.m. or half past 7 will be just for gags. At 8 a.m. talking point special. 8.30 a.m. or half past 8 is game show. 9.30 a.m. or half past 9 is home shopping. At 10 a.m. is the ring of Nibelung. And at 11 a.m. is Mellow Car. Okay. So here, part A, the show at 9.30 a.m. or half past 9 is home shopping. As you can see from the schedule here. So this is the answer that we are looking at. Okay. Now, just for gags. Okay, look for just for gags. It's shown at what time? Here, 7.30 a.m. Okay. The show, The Adventurous last from 6 to 7 6 to 7 how long is that show for one hour okay the show lasts for one hour okay then they ask you what lasts half an hour half an hour will be from 7 30 to 8 so that will be just for gags Any other shows that last for half an hour? Yes, you have from 8 to 8.30. You can also pick Talking Point Special. Any others? Yes, from 9.30 to 10. You can also pick Home Shopping if you want to. 
Okay? Right, so there's a few answers to this question. You can pick just for gags or I give you all the alternative uh, answers, okay? Just for gags, that's from 7.30 to 8. 8 to 8.30 will be talking point special or you can even pick 9.30 to 10 and that's home shopping. So all these answers are accepted because it lasts for half an hour. Okay? So you just need to pick one. Mary switches on the television at 9 a.m. She will be watching what show if it's at 9 that she switch on her television set. So that will be... Uh, okay, we look at this. At 8, Talking Point, will, will she get to watch Talking Point? No. 8.30? Now, this 8.30 lasts all the way till 9.30, so it's an hour show. So, if Mary switches on her television at 9, she should be able to watch her game show. Okay, that's your answer. Is everybody okay there? Alright, let's move on to the last part. Draw the hands on each clock to tell the time. Fill in the time. Lenny comes home from school at 2.30 p.m. She takes a shower for half an hour. Then she does her homework for one hour. At what time does she finish her homework? Alright, let's do this. So here Lenny comes home from school at 2.30. So here is already your 2.30 p.m. Write it down. Now half an hour later. So that will be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So your time will be, alright, your minute, your hour hand will be pointing at 3, short hand. And your minute hand, your hour hand will be pointing at 3. Your minute hand will be pointing at 12. So half an hour later, it will be 3 p.m. Now one hour after 3, it will be at okay, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Okay. Now, Lenny finishes her homework at what time? At 4 p.m. Alright, everybody. So, that's your answer for this. Okay, that's the answer for this uh, particular question here. So, we are done with the worksheet. Okay, so I want you to do check your answers and do your corrections accordingly. Now, remember when you draw all your hour hand and your minute hand. Remember, you must always draw it straight with a ruler. And do be very careful, alright? When you draw, it must be pointing at the numbers that you are supposed to do. For example, if it's o'clock, right, it must be pointing at 12 straight. And then if it's half an hour, the minute hand must be pointing at 6 straight. Okay, everybody? Alright then. Goodbye.